Hi, I'm Mrs. Abodimo and this is Penny. Welcome to our math video. We're going to be continuing to work on telling time to the hour and the half hour. Let's get started. All right, my friends, the first thing we're going to do is read the essential question. Let me read it the first time and then you read it with me the second time. How do you know whether to draw and write time to the hour or half hour? Read it with me, my friends. How do you know whether to draw and write time to the hour or half hour. Now, before we go on a second, my friends, see this word weather, W-H-E-T-H-E-R? That means being able to make a choice between two or more things. That's what the weather spelled this way means, all right? Read the essential question one more time with me. How do you know whether to draw and write time to the hour or half hour? Now, what should we do? You know. Penny, what should we do now? Penny says we need to write an I can statement. She's correct. All right, my friends, what do I start with? And what's the rule about that letter I? You're right, it has to be capitalized. I, and now I'm gonna mess with you. Instead of writing I can't, I know it's an I can statement, but we're not gonna say can. We're gonna say when, W-H-E-N. I know when, when, to write time and my friends what's making this I say its name what's making this I say its name correct it needs an E I know when to write time and I'm gonna come up here and borrow to the hour to let me hear you spell it the I know you know this word T H E Hour. Remember, it's a tricky word because we don't hear the H, but we know it's there when we're talking about time. Or, how do I spell or? Little word, you know this one. Half. What do I write? H-A-L-F, hour. H-O-U-R. And what goes at the end of that sentence? You are correct. I need a period. All right, my friends. Let me read my I can statement. And then you're going to read it with me the second time. Here we go. I know when to write time to the hour or half hour. Read it with me this time. I know when to write time to the hour or half hour. Now, what does that mean? That's what you're asking. What does that mean? It means that if I read a word problem, I would know how to write the time. Or if somebody asked me to write 8 o'clock, I would know how to do it. Or if they wanted me to write 8.30, I would know how to do it differently than eight o'clock. I'm gonna flip the board around and I'll show you what I mean. All right, my friends, I flipped the board around and now we're looking at the face of the clock. Remember, this part's called the face of the clock. And just real quick to review, you already know this, but let me review it anyway. Each one of these numbers, if you're talking about the hour hand, the short one, the hour hand points at the number to tell you the time. and the, one, the numbers when they run around the outside of the clock and you're looking at them with the minute hand, the long one, you count each one of these numbers as a multiple of five. Make sense? Yes, it does. You know you know this. Let's practice counting by fives before we go any further. Ready? Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And it doesn't say 60 up here. It says zero, zero, Y. Why, Penny, why does it say zero, zero? What? Yes, you're right. Penny says, it says the zero, zero, because that's the start of the new hour. Now, how many minutes are in an hour? You totally know this. Let me hear you. Yes, you're right. There are 60 minutes in an hour. So we know the basics. Bravo. Now, my friends, let's talk about it. I just asked you, if I wanted you to write eight o'clock, what would we do? Let's start with our minute hand. Let's start with our minute hand. Does our minute hand point straight up for eight o'clock or stri straight down at the six? Is it straight up at 12 or is it down at the six for o'clock? Yes, it is straight up at the 12. So I'm gonna put my minute hand so it's pointing straight up, pointing at the 12 for the o'clock. Now I need the hour hand, the short one, to point at what number for eight o'clock? What number for eight o'clock? Penny, what number for eight o'clock?
Penny says it has to point at the eight, and she's right. So there's my eight, and I'm gonna point my minute hand, my hour hand, excuse me, my hour hand at the eight. And then when I read this, my friends, I know the minute hand's pointing straight up, so it's an o'clock, and it's pointing at the eight, so we read this as eight o'clock. Now, what if I wanna change it to 8.30? What if I wanna change it to 8.30? Let's start with the minute hand again. Does 8.30 point up at the 12 or down at the six? Which one? Up at the 12 for 8.30 or down at the six for 8.30? Yes, down at the six. Because if it's pointing at the six, we say, oops, I bent my minute hand. We say half past or we say the 30. Both are right. Now my friends, for 8.30, which two numbers is my hour hand gonna be between? Which two numbers is my hour hand gonna be between? Yes, you're right, my friends. It's gotta be between the eight and the nine because if it was between the seven and the eight, that would be 8.30. I'm sorry, if it was between the seven and the eight, that would be 7.30. We don't want 7.30, we want 8.30. So I've gotta figure out where the middle would be and my hour hand is gonna point halfway in between the eight and the nine. What do we think about this? Show me my friends, thumbs up. I think I can do this. This sounds pretty easy, Miss Amodimo. Thumbs to the side. Mm, I hear you, Miss Amodimo. I think I can work with it. I think I got this. Thumbs down. I've got some questions, Mrs. Amodimo, but I'm definitely willing to try. All right, my friends, I think, I think we'll do a couple on paper and you'll be like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me switch to paper and we'll keep going. All right, my friends, we've switched to paper. Let's look at it. We're gonna look at these two first clocks to start with. We're gonna look at these two clocks to start with. So here's my word problem. Jose goes to the store at eight o'clock. Circle the clock that shows eight o'clock. All right, my friends, listen again. Jose went to the store at eight o'clock. Circle the clock that shows eight o'clock. All right, so let's break it down, my friends. First question, minute hand, that long minute hand. What does it point at for the o'clock? What does it point at for o'clock? You're right, it's gonna point up at the 12 for o'clock. Up at the 12 for o'clock. And we're looking for eight o'clock. So what should the hour hand be pointing at? What should the hour hand be pointing at? Penny, what should the hour hand be pointing at? Penny says the hour hand ought to be pointing at the eight. And right here, my friends, if I draw the line, you can see this hour hand is pointing exactly at the eight. This clock shows eight o'clock. And this clock is pointing down at the six, so that's a 30 or half past, and it's pointing halfway between the eight and the nine. So this clock is showing 8.30. So we're gonna circle the clock showing eight o'clock. Let's try the next one. So we're gonna look at these three clocks this time, my friends, here we go. Ryan takes Rita for a walk at 1.30. Circle the clock that shows 1.30. Ryan takes Rita for a walk at 1.30. Circle the clock that shows 1.30. All right, my friends, first question, that minute hand, the long minute hand, what does it point at for 30? What does it point at for 30? Yes, you're right, my friends. The minute hand needs to point at the six for 30. It needs to point at the six for 30. And I only see one clock pointing at the six for 30. Now we want 130, 130. So what is two numbers is the hour hand gonna be pointing in between for 130? You're right, my friends, it's gonna be pointing between the one and the two for 130. So this is the clock that we want for 130. What time does this clock show? It's point, the minute hand is pointing at the 12 and the hour hand is pointing at the 12. What time would that be? You're right, that would be 12 o'clock. What about this one? What time is it showing? The minute hand is pointing at the 12 and the hour hand is pointing at the one. What do we say for the minute hand is pointing at the 12? You're right, we say o'clock. So I need my colon, zero, zero, 
and it's pointing at the one, so we're gonna say one o'clock. Let's try some more. All right, my friends, let me read the directions the first time by myself and then you read them with me the second time. Use the hour hand to write the time, draw the minute hand, read it with me this time. Use the hour hand to write the time, draw the minute hand. So my friends, let's look at clock number one. We don't have the minute hand, so I don't know if it's o'clock or if it's 30, half past or 30. So I've gotta look at the hour hand and I'm gonna extend this line and do you see what I see? The hour hand is pointing exactly at what number? Penny, what number? Penny says it's pointing exactly at the four. If it's pointing exactly at the four, it's four, is it four o'clock or 4.30? What do you think, my friends? Four o'clock or 4.30? You're right, it's four o'clock, it's four o'clock. Which number does the minute hand point at for o'clock? Does it point up at the 12 or down at the six? Yes, it's gonna point up at the 12. So this clock is showing four o'clock. Let's do another one. All right, my friends, so here is my hour hand and I'm gonna draw the line so I can see where it's pointing. Now look, it's halfway between the 11 and the 12. It's halfway between the 11 and the 12. Do we say o'clock if it's pointing halfway? Or do we say 30 or half past? You're right, we say 30 or half past. So we have to write a 30 down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my minute hand pointing at the six for the 30. What hour do I write? What hour do I write? Remember, if it's between two numbers, I start at the 12 and I move clockwise around the clock and whichever number I come to first is the number I say. So this clock is showing 11.30, 11.30. Let's try number three. So again, my friends, I'm gonna extend the line and see where it lands. Now, it's halfway between two numbers. It's halfway between the six and the seven. Do we say o'clock when it's halfway between numbers or do we say 30? You're right. We say 30. So I'm going to put my colon and my 30 and I'm going to draw in my minute hand pointing at the six for that 30 or half past. And now what time, what hour do I write? What hour do I write? I'm going to start at the 12 and I'm going to go clockwise until I get to the first number out of the two I'm in between, and that would be the six. So this clock is showing 6.30. This clock is showing 6.30. All right, my friends, take a minute, pause the video, and try to do the next three problems on your own. All right, my friends, how did you do? How did you do? Do we match? I hope we match. I hope this is getting easier and easier and easier. All right, my friends, I hope you're feeling really confident. Take a moment, pause the video, and see if you can do these six problems on your own, and then check back with me to see if you're right. All right, my friends, take a minute and see how you did with seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna, then we're gonna do number 11 and 12 together. All right, my friends, I've got a highlighter. And this is my hour hand, so it's going to be, I'm gonna continue the line so I can see where it's pointing. Now it's pointing up at the 12. It's pointing exactly at the 12. So if it's pointing exactly at the 12, do I say 12 o'clock or do I say 12.30? Do I say 12 o'clock or do I say 12.30? Penny, what do I say? Penny says I say 12 o'clock and she's right. So my friends, I have to draw my minute hand pretty much right on top of my hour hand. It's just a little longer and it's gonna go up and point at the 12. So this is 12 o'clock. Let's do the next one together, my friends. So again, I'm gonna grab my highlighter and I'm just gonna make my line a little longer coming off my hour hand. And it's halfway, my friends, it's halfway between 
the five and the six. It's halfway between the five and the six. If it's halfway, do I say o'clock or do I say 30? You're right, I say 30. So I'm gonna draw my minute hand coming straight down to point at the six. I'm gonna draw my colon and my 30. And then my friends, it's halfway in between the five and the six, so I start at the 12, and as I come around clockwise, out of those two numbers, the first one I come to is the five, so I'm gonna write 530. What do we think? All right, my friends, how did you do? I hope you're feeling really confident with time. You do need to know this, it's important. You're gonna be telling time for the rest of your lives, so make sure it's something you put in your brain and lock it in there so you don't forget. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.